Hello, this is Mark from I'm Organic Gardening, located in Zone 6B in the state of New Jersey. And it finally stopped raining. It's been raining for the last three days, but we have these gorgeous sunflowers behind us right now that are helping me grow soil and build soil with their fantastic root system. So let me show you how they're doing and the benefits of sunflowers growing and building soil for you in your garden. Now we have that beautiful, gorgeous shot of that sunflower field that's about an acre and a half large right now. And they're all facing directly east towards the sun that came up about an hour ago. It's about, let's say, 7 o'clock in the morning right now, a.m. And they will track that sun pretty much throughout the day and end up pointing west at the end of the day. Now, these sunflowers are the gray striped sunflower seeds that I use to eat. I will sell these sunflower heads, we'll go in and pick the largest ones out of the crowd. But right now what it's doing today as a cover crop for me is collecting that sunlight and pushing down exudates into the soil and feeding the microbes in the soil. Your bacteria, your fungi, your protozoa, your nematodes. And it's building healthy soil so I can grow a crop in it next year. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that all these sunflowers are giving me so many other benefits. But for right now, let's just zoom in and enjoy the field on this beautiful sunny day. It's cool. The weather has changed dramatically with the storm front that finally passed through. It got down to uh, almost 58 degrees last night Fahrenheit. And it's quite cool this morning, and it's just a beautiful day to enjoy sunflowers. And later on in another field, I'll be cutting sunflowers, and they're just gorgeous to watch and improve our soil. So what else these sunflowers are doing besides collecting that sunlight and feeding our soil to microbes? Those roots on the sunflowers are so large that it's tilling our soil for free. So we don't have to till it. We don't have to do nothing to it except add seeds on top of the soil in the future. Now, the other thing it's doing, it's feeding our birds. Now, all these, like I said before, is called the gray striped sunflower seeds. And I'll be selling the flower heads after they bloom and dry, and I'll sell the sunflower seeds. But that's only pretty much a third of the field that I make a profit on. The other two thirds are going to feed the birds over winter, my wildlife, and everything else too. Plus, all this canopy you see behind me is larger now and is killing off all those weeds. Earlier when I planted this up that all these other weeds sprouted. Now I starved those weeds with sunlight so all those weed seeds have actually germinated and is not in my field next year to grow as a problem. So now this canopy is slowly killing that off. Now when that canopy dies off guess what all that dead weed foliage falls down now and feeds my worms in the soil also too. And the worms enjoy the soil more and can move around more because we have all those roots in the ground, again, feeding the soil, which is just amazing how this is all working. And, then, and another thing we can do with it is that we're feeding our pollinators, our bees, everything else that loves nectar right now is going to be coming out and enjoying these sunflowers. So just a beautiful crop and why am i mentioning this to you now because we're going into our fall season today is september 12 2020 and you should think about some type of cover crop in your garden it's nice to use mulch but you can use mulch and rows of cover crops so you can easily terminate it next spring and throw that mulch over that you know let's say whatever you use if you want to use uh, winter rye and crimson clover mixed together you can easily terminate it after it has bloomed out and then throw the mulch on top and then plant your seeds you know by removing that mulch aside and again planting directly into the ground these roots in the ground are not going to hurt anything for me next spring. Roots will die off within pretty much 30 days. And those are just, let's say, fingers to the world up on top, allowing oxygen into the soil and also water passage into my soil so I can actually grow soil. Those roots of the plants right now, the sunflower, is growing soil for me. Just because you mix up a couple different things in your soil doesn't mean you grow soil. Roots build soil, roots grow soil. That's the only way, and nature has been doing this for millions of years, and it's a process that you have to, let's say, have a kind understanding so you can use less inputs on your garden or anything else, and you'll have healthier plants that produce nutrient-dense food. 
everything is going great when you add roots to your soil. Anywhere in nature that you see is flourishing, you have plants that are actually feeding the soil. These plants feed the soil 51% back into the soil. They don't take from it. They're actually adding back into the soil, building passageways, feeding the microbes, and giving organic material that's roots so you don't have to incorporate it and you don't have to till it. And then also, all this is that's going on, you're also storing carbon in the process. The plants are taking carbon out of the air and pushing it back into the soil. And that's where you actually get that rich soil look. It's not from organic matter. It's from the carbon being sequestered into the soil through plants or cover crops. It's just, again, super amazing. Have fun with it, understand it. And just, you don't have to do anything except plant a couple of seeds and let nature take over and then actually go back into the ground and giving your, uh, let's say, a sequence back to that soil so you can have anything you want in the future by planting in the soil and it will be a good benefit to everything out there that you can see that's going on. I'm a little tongue-tied this morning because it is just, I can't explain it as much as you can see it here. It is just gorgeous to stand here and feel the cool breeze for a change and changing of weather. And I just want to share this with you. It's just drop dead gorgeous. And you can see how beautiful those sunflowers are just reaching for the sun and building soil for me. And here I moved over to my other sunflower field. All these are for cut and I'll be cutting them today and selling them. We should be cutting about, let's say, anywhere from 500 to 700 sunflowers today for a customer. That's going to be coming. Now, these sunflowers are different. These do not make an edible seed. They're very small. But what they do do is make this gorgeous sunflower, which is just bred for beautiful cutting. And it attracts all the beneficial insects also. And as you can see here, our beautiful bumblebee is enjoying that sunflower for that beautiful nectar. That rain that we had in the last couple days just fed these sunflowers and expanded in their full moisture. And they're just gorgeous. And they're just ready to bring to market so it can make a lot of other people happy in their homes when they buy those bouquets. In the next couple of videos, we're going to be going over um, how to build soil in containers and also in back in your garden, how to build soil this fall again. So I hope you stay with me. And until then, have a great day and enjoy life. Talk to you soon. Bye.